Okay, on the left, this is where I asked you to make your hand swing down. On the right, this is you were just throwing. Okay, so by the hand, time your hand swings down, you've actually gone farther on the right. Okay. So I, that's fine, I just want you to see what is happening. So, that's where your front leg crosses your front hip, that's where your front leg crosses your front hip. So, you kind of got stuck a little bit on the right. Okay, so when I'm asking you to take your hand down, do you notice that your shoulders are tilted a little bit more back? Okay, so that's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't do that, I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying, hey, look, this is what's happening. Okay, so because of that, you haven't moved quite as well as you do on the right. Okay, you sailed the ball on the left, by the way. So there's contact, there's contact. Okay, so we see a little bit different positions in what your arm's doing compared to your legs. Okay. You actually went farther here. You can see the distance between your back foot and the rubber. Okay, so I'm not saying which one you should do. Okay, this one your hand does go down. Okay, so it goes to here. This one is where I ask you to extend down. If you feel better and you feel like you can repeat the one on the right better than the one on the left, please do that one. But if you feel like the one on the left gives you better t timing, whatever. Remember when we were playing, when we were going step, shovel, throw, you weren't doing what I'm seeing on the right. You were going quicker, quickie, I can't talk. Quicker. Quicker, okay, into this position. Okay, so last comment. Notice you're putting down before your hip gets through. The fact that you create elite levels, levels of hip and shoulder separation is because of how late your arm cocks in relation to foot strike. So that's what allows you to create separation is that you're hitting with your hand flat to the ground. Okay? In both situations you're hitting. But notice that you do have a little bit better of hip drive on the left when your hand went down in relation to foot strike. Okay. So at the end of the day, can you be feeling these things? Can you understand what's most important? Okay. By the time I get my foot down, I want to have driven my hips through. I want that back leg to have finished its drive. I want to have finished its extension, and I want to time up my arm with that. Everything should start from the ground up. Okay. So again, I'm not saying arm swing on the left was better than the right, or the one on the right was better than the left. I was just showing you differences.